Long Island, a family is sickened by carbon monoxide in their home. The incident happened last night in East Meadows. CBS News' Carolyn Gussoff is there live with the very latest on the victim's conditions. Carolyn? Chris, good afternoon. Members of one large extended family are lucky to be alive. Their home behind me on Buchanan Road was filled last night with deadly levels of carbon monoxide. And the Nassau Fire Marshal says there were no carbon monoxide detectors working inside the home. The call was made uh, first to by the family to their pediatrician around 8.30 last night. They were complaining of the sudden onset of symptoms by the entire family that fire uh, that family doctor is also the medical director for the East Meadow Fire Department and he instantly recognized the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning a patient of mine she was calling just to say that the whole family had gotten sick all at once with headaches dizziness uh, and they were having trouble walking and they were concerned because they thought that they were coming down with an illness in the house we're being with the fire department and EMS that to me was a potential carbon monoxide problem right away so I immediately told them all open the windows get out of the house and call 911 and Dr. John Zazzo actually had to, says he had to call the family back a second time to tell them to get out of the house immediately, and it's a good thing they did. According to the fire department, the levels were off the charts, 1,450 parts per million, when a level of 55 parts per million is enough to make you sick. They report that five adults and five children were treated for carbon monoxide poisoning. NASA University Medical Center tells us all but one of them has been released. There is one remaining member of the family in the hospital hospital in stable condition and fire officials tell us this is a really a cautionary tale that had this happened in the middle of the night when all these people and children were sleeping the results would have been tragic reporting live from East Meadow Long Island Carolyn Gussoff CBS 2 News Carolyn thank you